Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. <laughs> Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You say that you want me to stick around and watch your back? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want him or if I want Nick. Ah. Well, where would Nick go is the real question. He'd probably go back to the harbor, but where would I he... He wouldn't go all the way back to the... I was about to say out of the way thing. Because uh, I don't know where he would be. Hmm, this is the biggest decision ever, guys. Do I want an old man that looks like Cadgar, or do I want Nick, who looks like a robot? Hmm, decisions, people. Let's go. You should come with me. I could still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking along. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... So we can... I guess I'll send him... I don't even know where Nard Hagen Beach is. I guess I'll send him to Longfellow's cabin. I'm never gonna find Nick again! <laughs> Cause I don't know where Nard... I don't know where Longfellow's cabin is. Hopefully there's a point for it. Go to Longfellow's cabin. Alright. And he's already gone. Nope. Hello. Hold on, before you go, Dick. Is there... Oh, okay, cool. So, there is a map marker for it. That's cool. So, I'm going to turn to my little bunk boy. That's cool. All right. See you later, Nick. Wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized. I just realized. Hey, Valentine. You know, I've been thinking about how things went down with Winter. Never properly thanked. Now, all we have to worry about is Zombie Eddie coming to seek revenge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Zombie Eddie we took care of back there. But regardless of form... Oh yeah, the, the quest. <laughs> the only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long-lost Institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of. Some cop from a bygone era. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that just, poor bastard's hope. Just real long with this guy's call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I hope with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. Being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time Aww. was that taking down winter it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours. And ours alone. I want to just hug Even him right now. The only thing in this world that I can ever claim is mine. Not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine. And then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. 
I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. But please feel free to try. Caps, armaments, real estate. Ha! <laughs> Wise to the end. Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Yeah! Nick. Time to hit the road. So I just realized that the whole purpose of coming here was... Are you, are you okay, man? Longfellow? Longfellow. The whole reason coming here was a dual detective thing to save the girl. So I'm probably going to at least get to her with Nick. And then... Let's head out. Well, all right. And then uh, switch to Longfellow a little later. At least I know where he's going to be. And I can spruce it up a little bit later. Yeah. Don't worry, Longfellow. I will return to you. Alright. I, f I feel like we're getting to her too early. Like, this would be later stuff. Like, because, again, I keep going back to Point Lookout, but this is very similar to Point Lookout. That's okay, because it's another good DLC. Uh, but, like, that, like, when you finally met her, the girl in that one, it was, like, halfway into it. So. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. Um, You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I don't think you're wearing any pants. Yeah, you also got something in your chest there. It's, uh, yeah, you want to take that out? Well, in that case, I want a Nuka Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and a pony. <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her. This guy looks awesome. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a sin? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? Yeah. There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It, it can't be you. So now I'm really glad about Nick. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Uh, I gotta, I gotta keep doing it. I'm sorry. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. Aww. We were prototypes, Nick. The first sense capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were hmm. my brother, Nick. Hmm. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Nick. 
Is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? It's because we're from the same assembly line. Does that make us family? I gotta think about this. Okay, so this is actually... I'm actually really glad that I brought Nick now. Because that's actually a question I've had for a while. Like, what exactly is Nick? You know, he's not a... He's not a ver like I don't know what they're called like version three I guess and but he's not a version one or two. So to know your thoughts on the matter. Now, this is a lot so now I'm really hoping I get some more information on this too. I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder was I born with these? Hey! Or were they manufactured? You see that guy behind None me? Let's take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of millions and millions of people want to do that man. Her and he's got her. cords coming out of him just like you. She isn't. I want you to understand that before you. I also get really matters. She has a chance here to live as a synth. Not hiding, not pretending to be something. Yeah, else. but what if she isn't a sin? One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a sin? <laughs> Why did I laugh at that? Okay, I'm gonna have to see all three options of this. I squint real hard in the mirror. Sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing ha. really changes. Ha! I know it may seem it. impossible that you could be a sin. But tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Okay, they're not pulling this route. They're... I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> all of that's happened since then. They're, they're not no pulling that route, are they? Again. No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate. But no! That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. I'm I'm sorry, what? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not pulling that route, are they? I'm not a synth. End of discussion. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co uh, I mean... Faraday and Chase. Kasumi <sighs> is usually working down below. Whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? Uh. I'm in the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? 
I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you are a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are, avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life, Ideals aren't going to protect this gate since we do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I think that I just, a lot this time around. No. No, I shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, okay. or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Uh, should I say I'm in the Brotherhood? I I'm guess. in the Brotherhood of Steel. We have plenty to say about sense. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Yep. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All exactly. we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. Yeah. All right. I'll reserve judgment for now. Thank you. Now. Is there anything else I can do for you? What? Why'd you look down like that? I'm just like, hey. That's nice, bro. Get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. <sighs> you know, it's just gotta blow the whole. Hey, guess what? I mean, it it makes a little bit of sense. You could say that maybe, like, both of Sean's parents die. The spoiler alert: if you haven't finished the game right now, um, yeah, why are you watching this? <laughs> But spoiler alert, I'm going to be talking about some late game stuff. So, if both of his parents, if both of Sean's parents died, it would make sense that he would maybe want to see one of them back? But he wants to see them back like how they once were. He doesn't want to see them like another synth. Because they want to be his parents. So he... You know, put the memories in his mind of the day, because that's the only day you play, and that so you can maybe like think they put in those memories, and then you just when you wake up in Vault 111. I can see if that's what they're going for, but ooh. hello, Kazumi. You're not a synth. You're a Jap American. It's time for you to go home. Your mom and dad. <laughs> You're not a synth. I, I don't want to be blunt, but I really don't think she's a synth. Maybe that's a whole mystery. She isn't a synth. Is she or isn't she? Kasumi, listen. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. Are you going to ever really know? That's it. 
just answered so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for him. How would that conversation have gone now? I've been lying to you this whole time? Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. Not a lot. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a twin, things would be so much better. But Lydia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just a record. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running around. You got a problem? What kind of problem is there in the movie? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to explain. Wait, you're friends with me. Shotgun Lizard. That's what you do, right? That's how you came up the name. Why don't I tell him that there's a big secret here on this island? Something way more important than just one last thing. <gasps> I, I, every time I see that stupid sarcastic, and if it's related to Nick, I gotta do it. Also, hi, Squinty Eyed. Why are you going Squinty? Krista, there's a lot of things on this island that are still being handled. If you could just hold the joke for a second. Nope. I all those computers I'm a less class. Why do I do? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both. Well, there they asked me to help you for your cruise on. And, you know, I got through. It was a century's worth of life experience you gave me. And that's when I see it. Data models came up with the notion. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. That's... that's why. What if Emo is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island? We should get to the bottom of this. If Emo is putting on an act, we need to know. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very creepy. Come on! Help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Yes! Now, I've tried being forbidding of my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Emo, Faraday, and Kate have these little puppets here that go around the ship all day. Then they come out later looking like Nick and Arthur. He actually has a strange face right next to them. If you ever see Kate, just about to hide an ape skull. It's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Emo have their phones, but security on it is crazy. <laughs> I'll be super sneaky. Look, I'm the silver. Sh I'm the silver sloud, okay? <laughs> I can do anything. I'm gonna eavesdrop on that meeting. Seen okay. Harry Potter. Good luck. And come back as soon as you can. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for Roger. <laughs> Don't worry, lady. Your secret is with us. We will save the day. And then. <laughs> Gotta go get some help. Alright. I have a plan. It's a long shot, but it's a plan. And it's going to take more than just dancing. So, <laughs> while they do their little jig, I'm going to be right back. I got an idea. All right. Because I, I can't, because I haven't been able to fix the problem. Well, I think it's just us. Yeah, I haven't been able to fix the problem with the lockpick. Like, they're still invisible for me. I know there's like a hundred mines, and Bethesda's even said how to fix it. But I'm lazy, and I want to do that stuff. I also want to dance. So, what was this? 